simple surfaces give the 86 classic proportions. Details at the nose and tail provide a modern, aerodynamic look. Inside, the 86 is basic, but well-built and handsome, if not quite beautiful. This Subaru-built, Toyota-designed sports coupe is engineered for fun above all else. Steering is a mixed bag, with the precise and well-weighted electric power assist taking out much of the feel, leaving behind an intuitive and quick, but not very communicative, wheel. The brakes are easy to modulate and adequate for the car's weight, easily surviving a half-dozen laps on a track or a long, fast canyon run. And the 86 actually uses low rolling resistance tires, like those you'd normally find on a hybrid or fuel economy special, in part to limit overall grip and let the driver toss the tail around a bit. Rear suspension changes this year, however, help keep the rear end more planted. They will be welcome to some but a negative to others who like the sign FRS's tail happy character. Power is derived from a 2.0-liter flat 4. For 2017 it adds 5 horsepower and 5 pound-feet of torque for totals of 205 and 156, respectively. It's not exactly a torque monster, especially in the low rev range. Run the car all the way up to its red line, though, and you'll find a little more power when you need it. As long as you don't mind putting some work in, the 2.0 liter rewards you. The engine is a variation of the Subaru design, with Toyota's direct and port injection system added in. Once you've reconciled yourself with grabbing the flat 4 by the nap of its neck and squeezing for all it's worth, the 86 becomes a second skin. Nimble, light, by modern standards, and incredibly neutral in its balance, the Toyota 86 captures the essence of what a sports car should be, honest, inexpensive fun.